I know. Uploading on a Saturday? I know, that's crazy, right? Usually you don't do that, but we gotta talk. We gotta talk real quick. I have never been more angry in my entire life. Well, that, well, I mean, I have been. But this, this right here is rather infuriating. Because the NFL has officially, you know, it was announced a couple days ago, but we knew, we've been knowing this for quite a while that the NFL was going to go to 17 games. Coupled with the fact that the International Series is coming back this year, which is, I, I, I made a video about that like last year where I've said that that's not a good idea. You know, like the International Series just doesn't appeal to me. It does not appeal to me. Like, we've tried football in Europe already. We tried pure football over there already. And look at what happened. 2007, NFL Europe, gone. Look at what happened. And that was just for a developmental league. What makes you think that there's actually going to be a franchise there? Oh, well, you know, despite the fact that the Jags are basically, you know, the London Jags. Now, I don't think, I don't want the Jags to have to give up a home game. But that's a different story in and of itself. We'll talk about that in a moment. But the fact that the NFL moved to a 17-game schedule is absolutely the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. This was just a bargaining chip. You know, because the owners want to go to 18. I am one of those fans that have wanted to go to 18 for quite a while now, honestly. Um... Like, the USFL did it. Arena Football, when it came back, did it. You know, the uh, the AFL, the Arena Football League, when it came back, they played 18 games. The, the, the Canadian Football League has been doing 18 games for 40 years now. So, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like... I'd be down for an early August start. I mean, you see the week zero is starting to become a thing in college football. You see that week zero is becoming a thing. Like, there's more and more week zero games each and every year. There wasn't any. There, I think there was like one this year. No one or two this year because of COVID. But, but honestly, week zero is becoming a thing. I want some, I want some NFL that matters. I do not want preseason games. Preseason games are a waste of time. You know, just do some scrimmages. You know, some some light scrimmages. Light scrimmages. And boom, there you go. You know, to where it doesn't have to hurt the players that much. I'm telling you, the NFL owners, they, they just they had to come to a compromise. I mean, they got... They got their own shorter end of the stick, but the players really got the short end of the stick on this deal. I mean, I mean remember, a hundred billion what, uh, around that for the next TV deal. The salary cap is going to go up eventually. It's going down this year, but it's going up eventually. Which is actually, you know, in hindsight, the salary cap is kind of stupid. But that's a whole nother beast in and of itself. But anyway, not what we're here to talk about. Salary, the, the, the TV deals are going up. Player salaries going up. Owners' pockets are getting bigger, and the players, they only, and the players that did the man for you know a little bit of an increase aren't star players. These are the third stringers, the fourth stringers, the guys that are rookies that that might get cut preseason. Or the guys that just cannot perform on the field adequately and they can't perform off the field in a professional manner. The fact that we are going to 17 just irks me. I mean, look at the Atlanta Falcons. Speaking of international games, guess who's playing an international game this year? The Atlanta Falcons. They only have seven home games. Ten, well, nine away because the AFC is hosting the 17th game this year. Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever. 
like let's just say we had 18 let's just say we had 18 games like we could still keep the model you know for you know scheduling 18 games but instead of you know having a go let, let's just talk let's just talk my team for a second let's talk the Dallas Cowboys let's just say you know we have 18 games instead of you know with the 17 game model just adding a game against New England we play we play the Cardinals twice we play the Vikings twice. Then we play the rest of the, you know, and then we play the NFC South just one time, or something like that. Or you know, we could do it like this. You know, we play like the Vikings, the Lions, um, um, and the Cardinals and the Forty ers something like that to get the eighteen. Instead of having to play, you know, another. You know, another cross conference game with an AFC opponent. Why didn't we go to 18? Players didn't want, players, the big time players didn't even want the CBA. The big time players didn't want the CBA. Aaron Rodgers didn't want the CBA. It doesn't make any sense. Like, yeah, guys like Dak Prescott, you know, his new deal and. Patrick Mahomes is five hundred million dollar deal. They, those those deals are fine. Those deals make perfect sense now, with the way the money is, with the way the owners can give out some money like that. I mean, sure, it's not guaranteed or anything like that, but hey, that five hundred million dollars is there. So the point I'm trying to make is, in all reality, seventeen games is stupid. The NFL Players Association needs to start renegotiating right now because there's only one bye week, remember? One bye week. Why are we not starting, you know, on Labor Day, before Labor Day, you know, in around that time, you know, doesn't make any sense. Like, we could still end the season, you know, before President's Day, which is what people have been asking for, what fans have been asking for for a while now. <laughs> so it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Now you have the audacity to tell me that we have to sit here with the CBA for 10 years, possibly. 10 years until 2031. March 2031, when the CBA has to be renegotiated. I'm already mad about Thursday Night Football moving to Amazon. The fact that there's going to be 17 games each year just doesn't feel right. The CBA needs to be renegotiated. It needs to be renegotiated right now. Like the players need to come together. Like this does not make any sense. Like yeah, the NBA kind of you know doesn't have the best players association either, but at least they get stuff done. At least they get stuff done. MLB doesn't really have one either. At least they get stuff done. NHL they had a whole lockout. They had a whole season lockout. So you know the players, you know the players over there in the NHL are good. With their contracts and stuff like that, how is it that the how is it that the these other three leagues, the these leagues that don't that don't that, that they like together they bring in like all three together bring in what the NFL brings in? How do they have better players associations than the NFL? How do they have better lawyers? How do they have how do they have all this stuff? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. This CBA needs to be renegotiated right now. I tell you. Players want more. We need that second bye week. Honestly, we need that second bye week. There, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I would like a second bye week, please. For the Cowboys. Uh, I, I, I would like that. That would be nice. You know, if we can get rid of the Pro Bowl, you know, maybe, you know, push things back up, you know, a week, get that second bye week in for everybody. Be nice. That'd be nice. But no, not that. Not none of that at all. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. I, I hate it. I really do.